Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy. Today I'm going to read one of my boys' favorite books. It's called Nibbles, the Book Monster. It's going to be backwards because we can't figure the camera out right now. So, Nibbles, the Book Monster. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Look how cute. Nibbles likes to nibble soap and nibbles nibbles socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks, and Nibbles nibbles clocks. Nibbles loves to nibble toes, and Nibbles nibbles hooks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is... Books! He chomps them all the time. Oh no, where's Nibbles? He nibbled his way out of this book. Can you see him? He's right over there. Uh-oh, Nibbles has nibbled his way into someone else's story. He nibbled his way into Goldilocks and the Three Bears. First, Goldilocks tried the big bowl of porridge. Yuck, too salty. Then she tried the in-betweeny sized bowl of porridge too sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge and it was monster. Burp. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone's eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broken everything. It wasn't me. It was a monster. But he's nibbled his way out. Poor Goldilocks. Maddie Nibbles has nibbled his way into another story. Quick, let's catch him. He nibbled his way into Little Red Riding Hood. Help, stop that nibbler. He's just nibbled my granny's lunch basket and he nabbed my cloak. Deep in the dark, dark forest, Little Red found Grandma's cottage. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside. Grandma looked very strange. I look strange. What about Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Oh, Little Red, what cute fluffy paws you have. What a rumbly, rumbly tummy. And what nibbly little teeth. All the better to nibble with. After a terrible hullabaloo, Grandma was set free from the cupboard. Let me in. This story is meant to be about me. My hero. Thank you, Nibbles. Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. And the big bad wolf was never big or bad again. Oh, dear. Little Red is not happy. We've really got to catch Nibbles this time. He's making a real mess of things. Let's get him. He's chomped his way into Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack hid just in time. The giant was home. Mr. Giant stomped through his giant door and sat on his giant chair, but something didn't feel quite right. He took a giant sniff and said, Fee, fi, fo, bum! Something just bit my body, and they're running away with my goose. Mr. Goose tried to, Mr. Giant tried to catch the intruder and the golden goose. Come back here! But they managed to escape. Fee, fi, fo, fum. When I get back, I'll get you back for this, you nibbly hooligan. When Jack climbs a giant beanstalk in his back garden, he finds a giant house, a giant golden goose, and a gigantic grumpy giant. Will Jack set the poor goose free, and will he make it home for dinner? Phew, that was a close shave. Hooray, the golden goose is free at last. And it looks like he's taking Nibbles back to his own story. Yay! The Golden Goose has dropped Nibbles back into his own book. Ouch. Thank you, Golden Goose. Now quick, let's close the crate before Nibbles escapes again. Phew. All done. Now you really mustn't take your eyes off Nibbles. Not even for one second. Stop! Do you hear something? What's that noise? Oh no, not 
that again. That's the 